Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. And I am Joan Enskow, a member of the team at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Tequesta, Florida. And um, we get, we'll read the morning prayer Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. And you can join us later uh, on YouTube and, and uh, Episcopal Church uh, website, Good Shepherd. Uh, today is a special day. It's the Feast of St. Michael and all angels. It's transferred from Sunday. And uh, my dear friend Ian explained all that to me, but I will not do that right now. <laughs> anyway, St. Michael and all the angels. And uh, it's, his, it's that day, and we will celebrate him today. So um, take a moment to relax, and I will begin the, our morning prayer right here. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. That's from Psalm 91. We will have a confession of sin. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. Sing together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his awesome. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Come, let us adore him. Our, our psalm today is Psalm 103, which you could read with me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your he redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord, the Lord execu executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his way known to Moses and his works for the children 
of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has renewed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows when, whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and do them. The Lord has set his throne in heaven, and his kingship has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you hills, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Go now to the first lesson, which is from Genesis chapter 28. Jacob left Beersheba and went towards towards Iran, Haran, I'm sorry, Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, the top of it reaching the heaven, and the angel of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac, the land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring, and your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad of the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. Know that I am with you and will keep you wherever, excuse me, wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A saying together is the song of creation. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Oh. 
the cosmic order. <laughs> Glorify the Lord, all you angels and all you powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars. So I'm sending. Oh my eyes. Let's, let's see. Glorify the Lord. Hold on. <laughs> Glorify the Lord, you angels, and all powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds of fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding day, dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts, Glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his... What did I do? Okay. First lesson. Oh, here we are. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hard managing this and this. <laughs> okay. Uh, let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmaments of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Our second lesson is from Revelations chapter 12. And the war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back. But they were defeated. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon thrown down an ancient serpent who was called the devil and Satan. The deceiver of whole world. He was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, for that they did not cling to life, even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. And woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord. We now say the song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has no mercy on those who fear in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. 
and he has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come in, he has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Monty's Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the, commun the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Hold your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep, your, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect for the Feast of St. Michael and all angels. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colic for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely, trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for Quiet confidence. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the Right Reverend Eduardo Colipo Willow Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton and his companion, and our companion dioceses, remembering today especially the Diocese of the Bahamas and the Tecos and the Caicos Islands, the Right Reverend Lash Zane Boyd Sr. Bishop. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplication and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Ricardo, Alexa, Ben, Bill, Gloria, Mary, the Most Reverend Michael B. Curry, Sue, Pam, and Bob, Zan, and Celeste. We pray also today for our worship ministries, remembering especially youth acolytes that Good Shepherd adolescent members may participate in and enhance our corporate worship and the daily office ministry that our community may gather together to praise God and to hear the Holy Word and to offer prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving. And the daily office ministry is what we are about. And it is such a blessing. Yes. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Most especially my prayers over the last few days have been for the people that have encountered the Hurricane Helena lean. And it's, it's so devastating that it's hard to wrap our hearts around it. I especially pray for Western North Carolina, having a daughter who lives up there in the mountains, it's, it's um, unbelievable that they still cannot be reached. I understand the army is on its way because they are the stores and everything in the towns, if they're not underwater, they don't have any food, water, ice. Uh, restaurants are not open. The people have run out of their sources. And um, it's a total, total, something no one really was ready for. And Lord, Lord God, we ask that you give them, you give them many, many angels on this day of holy angels. Please bring them the strength and the confidence that they can get through this, that they are loved by God and given opportunities to think out of the box. Think of ways to, to find their neighbors and 
And for those who are alone with no neighbors on tops of mountains with no way to get to them, please be have them safe and know that they are surrounded, surrounded by Michael and all the angels. Keep their faith. Keep them with hope. And let them know they are loved and people are praying for them every day. And now I will see what you all have to say. The end says, pray for all who are affected in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. Pray for the repose of, the, of more than 100 souls lost in this historic storm. Yes. It's not only those that are alive that are dealing with this. And uh, we are safe. We may have some storms approaching us in the next, this next weekend, but it's never going to be that disastrous. Pray for that, Lord. Pray for that, that we are safe. And for all of us that are here and, and loving each other, be kind always to everyone. I know I'm not ending, but be that way. Offer to your neighbor. Now's the time. Now's the time to build those relationships. Yes, now is the time. Yes. Well, today we have a litany of Thanksgiving. And in Thanksgiving, we are just so blessed. We should be. We should be so blessed. Let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. And you can say with me, we thank you, Lord, after everything I say. For all that is gracious in this lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ. We thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends, we thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve, we thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity, we thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice, we thank you, Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. For the communion of saints in all times and places, we thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And remember always, eat your neighbors, get to know them, and always be kind to everyone you meet.